This is a tutorial uh, on how to make a mod for the game Hard Bullet. Uh, so this is going to be a bit more complicated than my other video, and this tutorial does assume that you know the basics of C Sharp programming language along with uh, the Unity engine. So let's just get started. So you're going to need a few things. You're going to need Melon Loader, which I went over in the last part, uh, and you're going to need Visual Studio. So if you go to this page, which will be in the description, you click download Visual Studio, and then just click uh, community, I think would be the one. Uh, for now, I have Visual Studio 2019, but I think any version would work. Uh, but you also need .NET. So if you don't have this installed, and if you're watching this tutorial, you really should already. But if you don't, then you just click download and download the 3.0. Oh, or you could download any version, but that's just the one I have. Uh, and they all like stack up, so it doesn't really matter what version you have. But just install the most recent one, you should be fine. So what you do is you go over to Visual Studio, whatever Visual Studio version you have installed, and click Create New Project. So what you want to do from now is you got to search for a template, and you got to look up Class Library. This is important. You don't click the one that just says class library. You have to click the one that says class library dot net framework. So you click this and you click next and it'll bring you to here and then you can change your project name. So I'll just put it to test uh, mod or actually I'll do tutorial mod because I might already have that. Um, and then you just put the location where you want. I recommend making a different folder for all the mods you make, but that's up to you. And Download the uh, .NET Framework 5.0, like I said before, and click on .NET Framework 4.7.1. So now you gotta click Create, <clears throat> and just wait a little bit. And while we're here, you wanna go to this link, or this page right here, which will be in the description, and it's basically like the setup page for everything. So that's where we'll get some of our stuff from. So the first thing you want to do is set your references. So the references you'll need, R, click add reference you gotta click browse and go to your uh hard bullet directory which you can find on your steam then click settings manage browse local files and then go here and then that's where your hard bullet directory is and you have to have melon loader for this to work by the way which is in my other part uh so what you got to do is go to managed under here so hard bullet hard bullet data manage and what you got to find is unity engine first of all Scroll down a little bit and it should be right there. You got to click browse and then you'll look for um, Unity Engine dot, um, dot input legacy module. Then you want to scroll down a little bit, or you actually you want to go to Melon Loader and then type it or do Melon Loader dot DLL. You also need that one. And then the last one you'll need is the Unity Engine core module. So you want to go to Hard Bullet, Hard Bullet Data, once again, Manage, scroll down, and then you should find core module right here. So then you click OK. So now you see these references right here. So you have Melon Loader and all the Unity Engine ones you need. So next thing you got to do is go to Properties, Assembly Info, and then you'll see this. And what you need to do is go to your web browser again, go to this page, and then you'll see this. And you gotta copy this and then paste it right here. So now what we're gonna do now is you're gonna set the name of your mod, the version of the mod. So we'll just do this first and you gotta do 1.0.0 or 2.0.0 or 1.2.0. It has to be uh, this style though. So three numbers separated by periods. Then author name, so I'll just put hazy, but you can put whatever you want and that's you. On name, I'll just do test. Sorry, I'll do a tutorial mod, All right? And then you gotta go down here, and you have to put gak no gexagon br because that's the um, maker of hard bullet. And then you gotta put hard bullet right here. Um, so once you've done that, you go back to your class and you click this and rename, and then just put it to wherever you want. I'll just put test mod class All right and you click off and then you'll click yes here because you have to change this as well so it'll just change everything um once you do that now you're ready so you have to 
put in a couple using things at the top. Uh, I would put using Unity Engine, using uh, Melon Loader, and then I have these two. These are like the core ones, but you can put anything here. If you add a reference to things in game, then you can use those classes and stuff. It's pretty complicated, but um, like I said before, you need to know C Sharp to do basically anything, but we're just gonna start simple and just do the most simple thing you can. can, you can. Um, so what you gotta do now is go to your class and you have to put a colon and then melon mod here. And uh, that'll just make it so that it uses melon loader. Um, so now into the class, you can put literally anything you want. So uh, what I'm gonna do is go to my web browser and go to this page once again, scroll down a little bit, and these are all the methods you can use. So I'm gonna use uh, on update. Uh, so what you gotta do for on update, if you, uh, for the melon loader, you have to put, it should be right here in the web browser, so I should have done that before, sorry. Public override void, that's what it is. All right, so you gotta put public override void here, and then on update, and then just put your semicolons, and you can put anything. So I'm gonna do if input dot get key down, uh, put the key as key code, sorry, key code uh, K, why not? And do this, what should I make it do? Make it, how about we close the game? So app, uh, application dot quit and then just do that and now uh, when we click the K key and we're in game and it'll close the application but that's not it we have to do more a few more things you have to click save on this your assembly info and you'll see this is has an error so you got to change it so you got to change to this whatever your um, you know your solution is called so I'm gonna change it to tutorial mod Sorry, I'm wrong. You actually have to change it to your class. I don't know why I said the uh, solution. You have to change it to your class name. You have to put using tutorial mod. So I got a little bit mixed up, but basically that'll make this error go away. Sorry, it didn't. Uh... Sorry, I didn't mean to put tutorial mod. That was a mistake. It's test mod. So, right here. so now it'll work. No more errors, good. Click save, click build. All right, once you've done everything, make sure you're done everything, there's no errors. Click build, build solution, and then wait. Then it'll go to whatever folder you had set up. So I'm gonna go to my hard bullet mods folder. So I'll go to um, data D, I'll go scroll down, hold hard bullet mod, mods, then it's right here, tutorial mod. So you gotta click that. And you gotta click OBJ, debug, and then you'll find your mod right here. So now what you gotta do is you gotta go to your uh, hard bullet directory. So if you click settings, browse local files, open this, put it over here, and then you gotta go to your mods folder and put your new mod inside your mods folder, just like that. And now any code you put in will work automatically as long as you have Melon Loader installed. And that's pretty much it. Um, so there are a few limitations to this, right? We can only add code onto the already existing game files. We can't like mess with like the variables and classes set up within the game. So we can't like change anything. But what we can do is add our own stuff and we can just change some parts of the game, like the physics and the gravity, which is physics and the time, everything like that. But we can't change like is player jump or player health but that's just um a limitation with the method as of now but when we get like official modding support or when this is looked a little bit more into uh we'll be able to do all the cool stuff um also what we can't do is add our own models and textures as of now we can't create our own weapons or anything that i know of i'd have to do a little bit more research into that but it's still pretty cool what we can do now. We can do literally everything, like make low gravity or make speed up time, stuff like that. So um, I hope you have fun with this, and I hope there's more mods. Uh, so far, the only mods that exist are the ones that I made. But um, happy modding.